Hello cloud enthusiasts! If you enjoy this video, share it with your friends and help them learn and grow. Don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud Enthusiast channel and hit the bell icon never to miss new videos. Imagine you're an architect working for an organization planning to move its workloads to the cloud. You are given the task of designing a system that is capable of performing the following tasks. Keeps an inventory of all the resources in use. Ensures resources are configured as per compliance standards. Has historical view of resource configuration changes. Sends notifications when configuration of resource changes. Analyzes relationships between resources. Now AWS has over 180 different services and new services are being introduced at a rapid pace. Each AWS account may be using many of the available services. In addition to that, large enterprises usually have tens or even hundreds of accounts. Looking at the assigned tasks, it looks like a whole IT department's job. You think to yourself, wouldn't it be awesome if you have something similar to what a car mechanic has? He plugs in the computer, which reads all the sensor values and gives you a detailed diagnostic report of working and malfunction components. Now before you start hating your job and think about becoming a car mechanic, you should look into AWS Config. This video will explore how AWS Config can make your life easier by automating all the tasks assigned to you. AWS Config provides a detailed view of the configuration of resources in the AWS account. AWS resource refers to any available AWS service, such as S3, EC2, VPCs, DynamoDB, and many more. When you enable and configure AWS config, it starts the configuration recorder which discovers all the supported resources used in the account and starts tracking them. You have the option to record all the supported resources or a specific resource. Using the describe resource and list resource API calls, AWS config gathers configuration details into configuration item which represents a point in time view of the various attributes of the resource. A configuration item includes metadata, attributes, relationships, current configuration, and related events. All the collected items are stored in an S3 bucket in the form of JSON documents. You can specify an S3 bucket when setting up AWS config. This bucket can either be in the same AWS account in which the resources are being profiled or in a different AWS account with proper permissions. AWS config can also be configured to send these changes to an SNS topic so that all the subscribers get notified of the change. Subscriber can be a human receiving an email or a system such as Lambda which can process the event in a certain way. Keeping track of configuration changes of a resource over time in a configuration history gives you the ability to view previous configuration values. Configuration history provides you a timeline of the resource from its inception to its current state. 
it gives you valuable insight into how the resource changed over time. AWS Config also allows you to define rules, which are the desired configuration settings for the resources, such as an S3 bucket must be encrypted, versioned, and not publicly accessible. We will explore how config rules work in detail in a different video. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you have resources configured in multiple AWS regions, you must enable AWS config in each of these regions separately. Now this concludes our video on understanding AWS config service concepts. Comment below to let us know if you faced any compliance challenges when moving your workloads to AWS and if AWS config was helpful or not. Thanks for watching.